So this week in the shop, we've got this Tesla Cybertruck. This is my first time seeing one up close in person, and this is gonna be my first time actually vinyl wrapping one of these. I've seen online that there's a lot of people that have talked about these edges being so thin that the vinyl actually doesn't wanna adhere to this edge. So we'll actually cross that bridge when we get there and see for ourselves just how well it does or does not stick. That's about my only concern with this thing. Outside of these really, really thin edges, it's a pretty flat vehicle. Wrapping around these shouldn't be hard. There's even a little gap between the panel itself and the flare on the front and on the rear. We're gonna be vinyl wrapping this Cybertruck satin black and I'm interested to see the end result. This is gonna be quite a significant change in finish and I think it's gonna look really, really good. I think these trucks actually look the best in a satin black finish, like that kind of a look. They really look really neat. They look out of place a little bit. Obviously, they, they look a lot more military when they're murdered out. Pretty neat to see one in person. I'm about to move it. I haven't even driven one before. It's very gonna be very strange, I'm sure. The windshield's gigantic, the windshield wiper is gigantic, just overall a very, very quirky truck, let alone an EV vehicle. I don't know how long this is going to take me to do. Um, I'm actually curious to see how long it's going to take me to do. I'm not going to rush it by any means, you know, but I'll definitely take my time and make sure it's a good job. But again, I'm really interested to see how these edges go. So I'm not even going to wash this thing. I think I might just use some good alcohol or glass cleaner to clean my panels and edges. I know it can get a little tricky with stainless, keeping it clean. This is a brand new truck. So to avoid headache, I'm just going to go panel by panel on this one. We're going to get it moved get some pieces cut and get to wrapping. Alrighty, so we're actually coming along fairly smooth here. Again, the panels are so flat. I have more time in the edge work than I do actually laying the panel because of just how flat it is. I mentioned the edges earlier. We might have some adhesion issues because the actual edges of this vehicle, they're not cut smooth on top of being textured. And then on top of that, there's not a lot of surface area there for the material to hold. Now I did wrap past the edge here and I'm gonna try and do that for every single panel on this vehicle. And we're gonna come back in a couple weeks after the wrap job and see how it holds up. If we have issues, I'll peel it back and trim up to the edge just like a lot of other installers do, but we'll see what happens. I'm hoping these edges will hold because that's a harsh contrast against the black having these silver edges here, but it is what it is. If, it's, if that's what it must be, that's what it's gonna be. And I'm hoping that this material is thin enough and strong enough to stick and hold on these edges. We're gonna find out in time. I already went ahead and post heated this and it's crazy how much of the truck it changes already. I think these things look amazing in satin black. I mean, it makes it look like a futuristic militia vehicle or something, I don't know. Very neat, very quirky. But without further ado, we're gonna keep on moving down the passenger side now. Gonna hit the fender, hit the other fender, and then we're gonna move on to the doors and everything else, so let's keep it going.
Alrighty, so we've got the Cybertruck officially wrapped. The thing's a totally different color now. It is officially satin black. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> it looks so much better satin black. It's unreal. Oh my goodness. This looks a million times better. I was never a fan of the stainless steel finish. Everyone says it's like a fridge and I have to agree with them. But it looks so much better murdered out like this. Like I said, I mean, it looks like something like a private militia would drive or something like it. It is neat. I do dig them to an extent. They're so quirky and different. But again, the satin black's on there. The edges were very, very interesting to wrap just because again, they're so thin and to go past the edge to have something to bite onto, it was just a lot, you know, the, the trimming and the tucking was had to be very, very even. It was just, it was interesting. There's not a lot here. I'm really interested to see how this is gonna hold up out there in the elements. Worst case, we peel it back and trim up to the edges. This area here as well was very, very awkward because these two panels pretty much face each other and you can't really wrap past this edge um, because of body flex, this would wrinkle the material. So we had to wrap up to the edge on this piece there. And that was the case for the back end of it as well. But everything else aside from these edges on this piece and this edge in here on the fender, everything but those areas, I've wrapped all the edges. So I've wrapped all the edges on this fender besides the one against the window. Door edges are wrapped, bedsides wrapped. I even wrapped the edges around these panels here. And because of that, I will have to come back and again, just check. This is the first truck I've done. I'm really interested to see what something like this is going to look like in a few weeks out there in the elements just being driven. I will have to also, when we drop this, I've wrapped around the tailgate as well, around all the edges. But in here, we're probably gonna have to add some black. I'm debating on just doing it right away or when it comes back for the follow-up because the material is gonna be set in and you know it's gonna do what it does. If I have to make any adjustments, I will. So we'll see. Still trying to decide on what to do there. So aside from those few things, overall I'm very happy with it. What a transformation. I mean, my goodness, this is a totally different truck now. And I think this is probably one of the better looking finishes for these is like a matte or a satin black. I'd almost say a satin black because of the sheen. It kind of emphasizes the body lines a little bit more outside, but can't go wrong either way. We will have to redo the hood piece though. I ran into one issue on the hood piece. There's a speck of dirt right there, the only speck of dirt on the entire panel. I mean, look at that thing. I mean, that is just so frustrating. That little guy. So we're gonna have to peel this and redo it. Aside from that, I'll get that done, get the mirrors back on it, and this thing's ready for some media and ready to go back on the road.
ready. So the Cybertruck is officially vinyl wrapped and completed. I'll obviously want to see this thing back in a few weeks just to verify the installation. I want to double check my edges, double check the post heating went well and stuff like that. Um, you know, if there's any discrepancies from my install, I like to, that's why I like to follow up is because then I can address them sooner than later when it's still repairable, um, just in case. This is the first Cybertruck that I've ever wrapped. So it was a little learning curve in a few areas. Um, the biggest being these edges, they're so thin. People weren't kidding online and in the forums and they were talking about some thin edges. They are very, very thin. So wrapping these edges is doable, I believe. Just tricky. You gotta have some patience with these corners because they're so sharp. Patience is just all it takes. It was interesting working with the vehicle that has such thin edges, but the thing's flat. Every panel's flat. You got a little bit of angle to some of this stuff, but it's all flat panels. So actually laying the material isn't bad. It's just wrapping the edges of the material that takes a little bit of time, a little more time than actually laying the film. With that being said, I think these things look a hell of a lot better with some color on them. Personally, my favorites, these satin blacks on these trucks. I think it just totally changes the look and feel of these things and definitely tones it down a little bit. The stainless steel has got its place, but it's so shiny and out there and just different overall. Throwing some satin black or some matte black on these is definitely a solid play if you plan to own one. Looks great and I hope the owners enjoys it. With that being said, thank you guys for checking out the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little project as much as I did. They're very, very neat, especially outside and when you throw them into some nature. Anyways, catch you guys in the next one.